Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number 12 on the first law of thermodynamics. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is November 2016. The first law of thermodynamics. It is a form of the principle of conservation of energy. Relates the change in internal energy to the transfer of heat to the system and the work done by the system. Here we consider mechanical work done such as during compression or expansion. The change in internal energy is equal to the heat transfer to the system dq minus the work done by the system dw. If it was a work done on the system, it would be plus dW. But here we treat always minus dW. Work done at constant pressure. Work done by the system is given by dW equals PdV. For a constant pressure, we can integrate and obtain the following equation. W equals PV2 minus V1. If the change in volume is negative, the work done by the system is negative also. Heat capacity is at constant pressure and constant volume. Let CV denote the heat capacity at constant volume, while CP denote the heat capacity at constant pressure. It can be shown that these are related to, according to CP equals CV plus R, so for a monatomic gas, Cv equals 3 half R, Cp equals 5 half R. For diatomic gas, Cv equals 5 half R. The ratio of heat capacities. We express the ratio of heat capacities as gamma equals Cp over Cv. For a monatomic gas, gamma equals 1.67, while for a diatomic gas, gamma equals 1.40. Derivation of an adiabatic process. An adiabatic process is one in which no heat transfer takes place between the system and the environment. So we have dq equals to zero. In this case, we may write du equals negative pdv. We may express du equals ncvdt and p equals nrt over v so that we obtain ncvdt equals n negative nrt over v dv. Uh, we may uh, express the left-hand side of the equation as depending on t, the right-hand side is depending on v. So uh, when we integrate, we get uh, tv to the gamma minus 1 equals constant. This may be, uh, using the ideal gas law, we may obtain uh, the adiabatic equation of state pv gamma equals constant. For an isothermal process, uh, temperature is constant. Um, we may treat the, the volume as changing, however, and uh, if we integrate between the initial and the final volume, obtain the following result for the work done. W equals nRT ln Vf over Vi. Okay, work done in a thermodynamic process. We have various expressions for the work done. In general, W equals V1 to V2 PdV. Constant pressure, W equals PV2 minus V1. Adiabatic process, W equals 1 over gamma minus 1, P1 V1 minus P2 V2. Constant volume, W equals 0. Isothermal, W equals nRT V2 over ln V2 over V1. The following expression holds as for an ideal gas in all of the above cases. Delta U equals NCV delta T. This expression involves the number of moles N 
specific heat CV and the change in temperature delta T. Example 1. An engine carries 1.00 moles of an ideal monatomic gas around the cycle shown in figure 2. AB is constant volume, BC is adiabatic, and CA is constant pressure process. 1.1. Uh, Compute the heat Q, the work W, and, the, and delta U for each of the three processes. 1.2. We'll get to that. Example 1.1. So process AB at constant volume. WAB equals PVB minus VA equals to zero. Um, delta UAB equals to NCV TB minus TA. Delta UAB equals to number of moles, which is 1.0, times CV, which is 12.47, times 600 minus 300 Kelvin, gives us 3,740 3, joules. Okay, process CA. QCA equals NCP TC minus TA. Because of constant pressure, we use CP, and we obtain three three thousand two hundred twenty joules. Delta UCA equals nineteen thirty joules, and the work done is twelve ninety joules. For the whole cycle, we have to add. We can find the the heat transfer during the cycle by adding up the contributions from each each stage of the of the cycle. So we obtain Q cycle equals five twenty joules. Work done by the on, by the system during the cycle is negative five hundred twenty joules, and the change in internal energy delta U is equal to zero. Example 1.2, we may find the pressure and the volume at A. We use the ideal gas law to find the volume at A. VA equals NRT over PA. We convert the pressure from atmospheres to pascals. 1 pascal, 10 to the fifth, 1.01 times 10 to the fifth pascal equals to 1 atmosphere. VA equals to 0 0.0246 meters cubed. Okay, so um, we may find the pressure and the volume at B. Since process AB takes place at constant volume, we know the volume at B. VB equals 0 0.0246 meters cubed. So we have for constant volume, uh, we obtain the ratio, the ratio between PB and PA is 2, so PB equals 2 times 10 to the fifth pascals. And uh, we find the pressure and volume at C. So process AC takes place at constant pressure. Uh, VC equals VA, of VA times TC over TA. Obtain VC equals 0 0.0373 meters cubed. And PC equals PA equals 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Example 2. What is the change during an adiabatic expansion from V1 equals 0 0.010 meters cubed to V2 equals 0 0.020 meters cubed for a monatomic ideal gas if P1 equals to 200 kilopascals? Note that gamma equals 1.67. We may use the adiabatic relation for pressure and volume, which is PV gamma equals to constant. And uh, so we thus obtain uh, P2 equals 200 kilopascals times 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.02 to the power of 1.67, where you get P2 equals to 63 kilopascals.